Hi there, Zelda here, and welcome back to Hourglass episode 22. Now, for those of you guys who are pretty eagle-eyed, um, you will know that 22 is part of my username. <laughs> um, if you look at the top there at the tab list, uh, short Zelda 22 is actually my username. I only go by Zelda. I usually don't say the whole thing. Uh, but 22 is actually kind of an important number for me um, because two is my lucky number. So what is luckier than two twos? Like what? what tell me what um so that's how i picked the 22 in my name and so i kind of had to get over a little bit a teeny tiny little infinitesimal um amount of like hype i had for this episode um because i knew episode 22 is it is it going to be special is it going to be amazing is it going to be wonderful no it's going to be late and it's going to be a regular episode and it's going to be wonderful just because it's 22 <laughs> so with that in mind what i thought i would do to start with is i brought us back to storage um which is an area that we haven't seen in the videos in a while um mostly because i'm not back here very often because this is in spawn and once we set up our like project and our working areas on the mana islands, so each oops, each one of these islands that we go to. Also, I just realized I'm sorry. I'm so so sorry. I was so excited to start recording that I forgot to turn my sounds on. Um, I realized when I was walking that I couldn't hear me. Uh, but each one of the islands that we go to, we have been setting up storages at each of those islands so the only time we come back really um like on stream is if i need something specific that's not already at those islands but since we are getting close to wrapping this season up we have several projects that i have been working on completing so what i'm going to do is i am going to do a couple cuts here and take you to each one of the items uh, or like one, each one of the projects that I have worked on off um, at like out of order. These these should have been done a while ago, but they're, they're done now before the world goes uh, into world download for the members. And uh, I want to show them off on video because some of them I've not even shown off on stream. So come along with me as I show you all of the projects I've been up to. Okay, to be fair with you, I probably could have just walked to the first couple um, to show you where they were in relationship to storage, but I wanted an excuse in order to cut so that all of the editing makes sense to me. So we're following this path around, and now you, you will notice we are still in spawn. Now, as I turn around, ta-da! Oops, that was, that was great. Great framing, great, perfect, amazing. Um, I made a new tower, yay! So this is actually the outside of storage and this tower had been marked out with red wool since about the third or fourth week of the server. Um, now, admittedly, I didn't pull any uh, reference images and what I tried to do was use all of the builds around to kind of guide how this one looked. So I pulled the stripped oak uh, that's in the base from the neighbor next door and from the main storage build itself. And I pulled this mix of sand, smooth sandstone and sand uh, and regular sandstone from these builds that um, Pants made. The only thing that I forgot to incorporate was uh, some of this brick that's in this kind of area over here. But since we were closer to storage, I pulled in some dark oak um, to match the trim that's along there. Because you'll notice that this actually connects to um, the storage building. So let's go ahead and go up there. There's no interior. Uh, mostly I just wanted to start filling the space. So once you go up there, and I'm not flying because I don't ever, like I don't, walk around in minecraft hardly ever so walk with me and i will show you how it connects um so yeah so this is part of the market stall oh did i ever show this off i did this on stream i don't know that i showed that on a video but that wasn't one of our projects from now <laughs> that was just something i don't know that i've ever shown um but it connects here and i was originally going to do an interior but we don't have time we never have time i never have enough time to play um so i was able to connect it up though it it looks like it was intentional i mean it's kind of a little bit close to the shop but eh, 
things things don't always work out like you know exactly evenly spaced in real world so not in minecraft either the other thing that i did um this week was i finished off this market stall so i had claimed a couple of the market stalls early on and uh this one the the melon the melon shop is now done we're we're not gonna you know judge that zelda took like five months to make this teeny tiny little market stall we're not gonna do that here we're just gonna celebrate that it's done yay um and then i'm gonna go ahead and mosey my way on over to the white island and we'll re we'll meet back up over there Nope, I lied. <laughs> We're still in storage and I forgot one of the other projects that I've done to help finish off the area. So originally, this is the dripstone farm. This was originally Bo's project, um, but in order to make sure this area went into world download completed, I put a roof on it. Um, I don't know if this was the intention, if this was the roof she was going to put on it, um, but I went ahead, she had the shape um, outlined and I filled it in with um, with warped wood, uh, stairs and planks, and buttons to make it, or not buttons, these, these are not buttons, Zelda, these are trap, trap doors. Oh my goodness! <laughs> uh, this is, this is Zelda's brain on Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are pressure plates with pressure plates for spawn proofing and then dark prismarine for just a little bit of an accent just to give it like a little bit of support in that main um, on the main arches so I I lied when I said that I was done in spawn so now now we shall go to the next island and welcome back <laughs> this is gonna get really annoying if I keep doing that I'll try I'll try not to I'll try not to um did we just spawn in a wandering trader we've been over here for literally like two minutes hi yes hi <laughs> hi friend um what do you got okay you got some pretty good stuff we might we might be able to work something out in just a minute like i mean that's that's really good and that's really okay all right you just hang out for just a minute i got a little bit more recording to do friend uh, so what I brought you back over here for was originally there was M Mushroom Island over here and uh, we had taken it out because it didn't really fit the like the shape, the size we wanted. We built new island over there and we took out island over here. I don't know. I don't know. That's just how we roll. Uh, but when we took it out, uh, it looked really bad. So I covered it all up with coarse dirt and that didn't look that much better, but it was it was a little better than like what you have regularly with like patchy sand gravel and stone so i came back in and bone mealed it so then after that um i was poking around in here and one of the things that uh, uh can i get up there wait hold on i don't even know i don't even, nope nope okay Shh. no one tell no one tell pants that we're doing that they'll never know pants will never know um i moved this guy over because he was in confinement over there in a box Wow, you're loud. Holy cow. When I moved him before, I had my sounds down. Holy cow. Those things are creepy. Um, <laughs> shh. <laughs> um, I patched up the ceiling so that it would all match. Um, because before, it was just the dirt floor from when we put in the build up above us. So I came in and I took the same stuff that Pants had been doing with the roof. And so there's a little bit of dirt, a little bit of moss, a little bit of cobble. Um, some leaves and lichen and the um, rooted dirt or not rooted dirt roots the hanging roots um, so now all of this underside matches and it looks really nice for the um, underground fort the underground city so the the terraforming above even though it's not filled in uh, it doesn't need to be filled in it looks gorgeous the way it is and then I'm gonna uh, break probably right here uh, cut again because I know we're coming up to server reset and I want to make sure this next part yeah server reset I don't have one minute I or I have too much to show in one minute so I will be back after server reset thanks for your understanding for that brief intermission and I've just realized absolutely everywhere I go has noisy creatures look at these guys back behind me 
I don't know that I ever showed these guys off on my videos either, but Virtuositas, uh, Virtu Vir Vert on the server, brought like six or five or six, I think there's six of them, six of these things over here. These are our, uh, these are our guard animals. And then we have another stables with horses over there, but these are like, this is like the attack regimen. <laughs> They're violent. Um, but we are at the fortress um, that Vert did. And I had agreed to do some of the rooms. Now, I did show the main entrance room over there. Uh, was one of the ones that I had taken charge of. But I also did the. I also said I would take on the library. So what we're going into right now was part of the library. But what I turned it into was more of like a grand entrance. Like a secondary entrance. I don't know. Um, but basically there was so much room to work with for just a library that I wanted to kind of break up the space a little bit more. So I put in this hallway, uh, and we have Mother of Corgis, Pants, Oren, Neomis Electra, and myself, just because these guys were hanging with me in voice chat, um, when I was working, uh, Pants was on the server and Corgis just happened to do, uh, just helped with a lot of the interior here. So I felt like I should include her also. Um, and then as we rind, 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 round, or wind around the corner, round the corner, this is where it actually becomes library. So we'll look over here first. Ta-da! Lots of books and, like, sit in spaces to study. Um, and that, uh, shape, <laughs> when we were in the voice call, uh, I was just testing things out. I, I was thinking I might do more books up there with like a ladder but I tested out like a frame like a framing shape that would like help support the bookcases I don't know uh and Oren uh chuckled quite a bit because it looked like space invaders <laughs> so then I was told I couldn't take it out so we I did uh uh, spruce it up. I spruced it up with some like pillars on either side, but I didn't change it. I didn't change it. We kept the space invaders. So now the library has a space invader. And then on this back side here, I did um, a loft inside of a loft because <laughs> we had so much vertical space to work with. So we actually ended up with like lots of sitting spaces. Um, I put in the lecterns as like special, like where the special collections would go. Lots of sit-in spaces to read. I think I said that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, and then lots of books. Uh, lots and lots of books to read. So this was a while in the making also, but it turned out really good um, because there are several spaces. Now, the other thing is where it connects back here. Um, there's this back storage area. I couldn't think of anything to do here. Um, but there's plenty of, like, miscellaneous nooks and crannies in this, uh, I almost called it in this vert, <laughs> in the fort. Ugh. I am, like, derping all over my words. I apologize, guys. And I'm not cutting it. I'm not cutting it. You just, you just have to deal with me. <laughs> um, there's lots of nooks and crannies, so it's not something that I feel will detract at all from the overall fortress. So with that said, I think, I think, unless I'm lying again, unless I'm lying again, we're going to move on to the Blue Island. So I wasn't lying. That was all the projects I had done on the White Island. So now we're back to the Blue Island. And as I turn around, uh, you might all remember, hopefully, that this was my house on the Blue Island. Um, the secondary purpose of this episode, apparently, is to go on a trip down memory lane. So I guess it kind of is. A little bit of a special episode since we're kind of going everywhere um, <laughs> but basically this was my house and I had only finished the bedroom <laughs> so one of the projects I did was I came in and I finished the kitchen area and the attic up above and the funny story about this is the reason I was even in this house to know that I hadn't finished the interior was because uh, Pants stole my bed from me. So while I was working on a different project on this island, I had to keep coming back and using that bed. 
And so knowing that this build was unfinished uh, really bothered me every time I would have to walk past this empty kitchen slash dining area. I was like, dang it, we're just going to go ahead and do it. So I went ahead and fully furnished, fully decked this out. And then also because I was here and attics are pretty easy, I went ahead and did the attic also. So now this build can be officially called uh, complete. And the build that or the project that I was working on um, in order or like that brought me over to this island was down here. These red um, tree like things were actually unfinished in my last episode from the Blue Island. Um, I think I showed the, the first two there, but then I didn't, I hadn't finished all, all of them. So this like platform down here looked a little suspicious. Like there was just like empty spots. So now it looks like the actual Magic the Gathering card that I used as reference. These were supposed to be like alien trees at this like research outpost that they were um, kind of investigating. And as the sun goes down behind me, this has, like, been my favorite picture that I've posted on Twitter, like, this whole season. Like, I don't know what it is about these trees that just look so cool to me. Um, but it's because they're so unusual, um, so unnerving, almost. <laughs> so I finished these. I finished the house. And then that's actually all of the cleanup projects I've had time for. The last two islands, the black and the red mana island, I'm going to be working on cleaning up next week um, while also trying to get a little bit of work done on the green island. So real quick, because it's going to get really dark here and I just don't want to deal with the darkness. Um, so I, my plan is to work on the red or on the black mana island and then the red mana island, um, in next episode. And I will show you guys a little bit of the cleanup projects if I have any there. But since I was so inspired by working on these trees, I think it's time for a couple time lapses of new trees on the green island. Uh, some, a little bit, a little bit more traditional. Uh, but a lot more unique from what I'm used to. So here comes the time lapse and I will catch you back right after this. Welcome back from the time lapses. Guys, I ducked into storage real quick before recording the segment because I desperately, desperately needed some string. Now, you won't be surprised to find out. Um, I do I do my recording in funny orders. So basically, I do all the Minecrafting and then I do a bunch of recording all at the same time. So when I did my Minecrafting earlier this week, uh, my builds have, my trees have been sitting there for, you know, a couple days and other people have been playing on the server and time has passed. Um, and the best thing about the screen island, and you can probably tell in this area, we're using vines. <laughs> uh, vines take over if you don't, um, like string stuff. So like this probably is going to end up like all the way down there. Um, but as Pants has been working on this cool ruin, uh, my, my tree, my first tree here, totally, totally got overrun. <laughs> so, um, oops. Oh, come on. Get up the, get up the hill. So, uh, let's just, you know, kind of cap this growth in a few places. Um, just so that it's not as excessive, maybe. Oh my gosh. Um, so I'm looking forward to like the 
118 changes to like glow berries and oh my gosh like I don't even know what to do it's fine it's fine this is this is totally fine um so glow berries aren't gonna need string at the end of them in the future in 118 and beyond um but regular vines still aren't gonna have the same kind of like ability to um what's the word I'm looking for like cap them <laughs> Uh, like, I, I wish, I wish, so what's going to happen in 118, for those that aren't quite aware yet, is you're going to be able to shear the lowest growing, um, piece of, uh, most viney things. So, glowberries, uh, the warped, um, the, the red vine from the nether, and the twisted vine, the cyan uh, vine from the nether you're gonna be able to shear those and also I think uh, kelp too also I think is what I heard um, but because vines don't have an age in their like in their programming they basically just grow and grow and grow and grow and grow until they can't um, they can't program them the same way so eh, eh. I mean I can understand but at the same time that shear function to be able to stop vines and viney things from growing is going to be really sweet um, when they implement it. But as you can tell from just the time lapses alone, this place is coming alive. Like we have so much going on already. So that was just my little bit of um, I needed to mend that, which probably means that my other ones are going to need string also. And when I say other ones, Zelda, what other ones? Um, these are not mine. But all of these little guys are mine. So this isn't where I built my first one. I actually built the very first of my stuff. We'll call them the tall one and the stubby one. So my tall trees have the glowberries and the vines in them. And then my stubby trees, I didn't put anything in, thankfully. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to put some in, but I was waiting because I knew uh, if I didn't catch it all, it would go overgrown. So this is the first tree in those time lapses. And then the second one was over here. And what I decided to do is because, like, we want it to be a bunch of variety. And so, like, this birch one is new. Um, I think Pants did that. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is I went ahead and I spread those all out. So basically um, there are, I have three of the tall boys and three of the stumpies. And they're all kind of spread out. So I put one of them over here by this ruins. And yes, we're going to need to <laughs> stringify this bad boy up a little bit also. Let's do eh, that one up there and then this one there and then that one there and there. This one's okay, I think, where it goes. So it's not so, so bad, some of this. Like, it's just, it's just because it all reaches the ground that it looks super excessive, I think. And then when it does stuff like this. So let's do that. Uh, which also means we'll have to do that. So yeah, so it's not, I mean, it's not terrible. It's just, just a little on the overgrown side. Like we want it to be overgrown, but we don't want it to be that overgrown. So <laughs> I already missed my other tall boy. <laughs> Come here, buddy. I'm going to cap you higher and I'm going to cap you there and what there? Yeah. Excuse you. Excuse you. I'm trying to go here and then this one will let go long, but this one will cap. And that means that. And I just don't want it touching the ground. there, Because we're going to also do, like, stuff on the ground, too. So we're going to have, like, probably can't do... Wait, can you do... Okay, hold on. Now now we're experimenting with Zelda. Hold on. This is, this is just me being a little bit distracted. Um, can you do, like, tall grass and ferns? Also, we should check ferns here, too. Oh, and we're going to... So... Um, if you looked, Chia Pets <laughs> is the name of this box because when you place it down, like you're, oh, hello, wait, does that grow? <gasps> oh no! <laughs> I haven't used it yet this season. Oh no. Okay, so that grows, that grows. Uh, oh, I'm sad. Okay, and then, yeah, this does regular grass and tall grass. Okay, cool. So we're going to do stuff like this. So that's why I don't want the vines to come all the way down to the ground because we're going to do some more um mixing up the foliage as soon as we have all the trees and all the ruins in this will probably be 
one of the last things we do. I cannot believe I just, I just lost my little baby dripstone. I'm so sad. I'm going to have to go back to storage and see if there's one. I don't know how it works. Uh, a silk touch, I think. Silk touch or shears. We're going to have to figure it out. Um, but yeah, so let me clean up my mess real quick. I'm sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> this one you can punch. Yeah, that one you can punch. Okay, so don't punch the little boys. Their, their, their feelings get hurt. Also, now I sound now I sound just abusive. Oh, Zelda, stop talking. <laughs> also, wait, hold on. Um, okay, period. Well, that can go in there. Fine, 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 fine. Sorry, I'm distracted. It's okay. It's wonderful. It's amazing. We learn together. Um, so I have three of the tall boys, three of the stumpies. The last of the stumpies is on this far side. Whee! I'm just I'm just using this as an excuse to check out the new build. Like I hadn't seen this yet in game. It looks freaking sick. So our other stumpy is here. And now if you were paying attention, you will notice that the leaves are different in each one of them. So one of them has jungle leaves, one of them has spruce leaves, and one of them has these azalea leaves. So I did a little bit of variety mix and match to help kind of sell even a little bit more variety. So this is the green island. It's coming together. Oh, so amazing. Also, um, it was stream that got to see the first dino. So the video hasn't seen the first dino yet. So blank put in our first dino. Um, so I think with that, that is everything I have for you guys today. Uh, we are coming up very, 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 very close. Actually, hold on. Let me pull up the calendar. Uh, so this week's next week's, and then, so there should be hopefully after this episode, there should hopefully be two more if I get, if I get all the time that I want to be able to record. Um, so I will just say a big, huge thank you once more for everybody's support on the server and for me, uh, for my content, uh, the continued views and words of encouragement are just, they make me so happy. Like you guys don't, you don't even know. Um, this has truly been a wonderful six month project and I really, really, really hope um, that the future of Hourglass is super bright um, because we are planning a second season and there will be more information very soon in the Discord. So if you're not a member of the Hourglass Discord, the link will be in the description box below. And I really, truly wish you all a great day.